Hello, we are watching the news broadcast daily, and following are today's headlines. President Chung Tan Sang visits Guangxi province during his trip to Central Region. Vice President Nguyễn Thị Doan launches Red Spring Festival to promote blood donation to patients in need. The Vietnam Chow Fish Association looks to protect legitimate rights of Chow Fish farmers. President Chung Tân Sang visited Guangxi province on March 2nd as part of his trip to the Central Region. We take a look at his trip. President Sang visited Vĩnh Thạch Cần Nôn, which has a new facelift since implementing the new rural area building program. He talked with local people about their key role in designing, implementing and managing infrastructural facilities of the new rural area. Later, the president attended a working session with provincial authorities. In 2012, the province, which borders Laos, recorded an economic growth of 8% and a 5.7% rise in budget collection. All of its 117 communes have accomplished their planning on new rural areas. It has established Kaesang Alaba urban areas on the east-west economic corridor, which links with Laos and Thailand with the aim of attracting more investments for development. Sang praised local people for their part in turning the province into one of localities leading in praying gratitude to those who render services to the nation and promoting agricultural development. He said the province border gate with Laos can facilitate its trade with other ASEAN countries. It can bring to the locality lots of opportunities and challenges when trade liberation is realized among ASEAN by 2015. Guangxi needs to quickly seek ways to enhance its competitive capacity to exploit the advantages held by the border gate, Sang said. During the visit, the president offered incense to all fallen combatants at Jung Sun and Road 9 National Martyrs Cemeteries and Guangxi Citadel Memorials. A performance by Bangara Dance Theatre, Australia's leading indigenous dance theatre group, started the celebration of the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Australia. It took place in Hanoi Opera House on March 2nd. When opening the event, Australian Ambassador Hugh Borrowman emphasized the significance of the celebrations. He said that the program will enhance links and create a platform for further exchanges between the two countries. Vietnam and Australia brought their ties to a new high level of comprehensive partnership in September 2009, creating a new and firm foundation for the two countries' further development. For his part, Foreign Minister Phạm Bình Minh said he hopes the comprehensive partnership between Vietnam and Australia develops further. It will serve the benefit of all peoples and contribute to peace, stability, cooperation and development in the regions and the world. Other activities to mark the anniversary will take place this year, including a get-together of Vietnamese alumni and workshops on the 40-year Vietnam-Australia ties in Vietnam a festival on Vietnamese culture and tourism, and a workshop on investment, trade and tourism promotion will be held in Sydney, Australia. Vice President Nguyen Thị Doan launched the 2013 Red Spring Festival at Meeting National Stadium in Hanoi on March 3rd. The annual event promotes blood donation to patients in need. Our reporters have more. The festival in Hanoi is expected to attract 20,000 people and collect around 7,000 units of blood, which will partially alleviate the current blood shortage in more than 120 northern hospitals. The initiative was jointly launched by the National Institute of Hematology and Blood Transfusion, the Hanoi Steering Committee of Voluntary Blood Donation and the Hanoi Jewish Blood Donation Mobilization Association. 
The festival took place after that and lasts for a month. More than 50 provinces and cities across the country are holding events for the festival. In Hanoi alone, the event is expected to collect 50,000 units of blood, 7,000 units on the first day. Since its launch in 2008, the festival has received a warm response from society. It has so far collected over 27,000 units of blood. This year, the festival will be held in other cities and provinces. A ceremony to launch the 2013 Earth Hour campaign in Ho Chi Minh City was held in the Control Youth House on March 3rd. It drew the participation of more than 1,000 volunteers from the city's universities and colleges. The message of this year's campaign in Ho Chi Minh City is do more than just turn up power. These projects will be carried out from 19 Earth Hour at 30 p.m. on March 23rd. They include cycling for the environment, 20 seconds for Earth Hour, green energy street scooter, green hands, green school, and ecological roof. The last of the projects, the highlight of the 2030 program, will see a number of classrooms for underprivileged children have their roofs made entirely of recycled bean cans on March 16 and 17. All the activities aim to raise public awareness of energy saving and the negative impacts caused by climate change. On February 25th, the Ministry of Industry and Trade announced that the 2030 Earth Hour campaign will be from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on March 23rd. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and the Vietnam Fishing Association jointly held a conference to set up the Vietnam Trafish Association. The event took place in the Mekong Delta province of An Giang on March 2nd. Our reporters have more details. The Vietnam Trade Fish Association will create links between Vietnamese and localities, business and farmers, and among businesses. It will make proposals on relevant policies to managing agency and the government in order to promote the fishery sector and child fish development. The 40-member executive board of the association is led by Nguyễn Việt Thắng, former Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development for the 2013-2015 term. The association will help protect the legitimate rights of Chaffee's farmers and encourage healthy, mutually beneficial competition. The government should empower certain rights to the association. The association targets are to generate from 1.8 to 2.25 million US dollars from importing 800,000 tons of Chaffee's and build a Vietnamese Chaffee's trademark in the global market by 2015. It also aims to harvest from 1.2 to 1.5 million tons of chaffish and create 230,000 jobs by that time. A photography exhibition on Vietnamese Asian Orange victims opened in the Republic of Korea on March 2nd. Korean photographer Lee jong hoon captured the images when he joined cyclists traveling across Vietnam last November. The exhibition is being held by the Vietnamese Embassy in the Republic of Korea in conjunction with NBC Nanlum Broadcasting Company. It takes place on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the two countries. On that 1,750-kilometer journey through Vietnam, the 20 riders from the countries who represented Asian Orange victims and Vietnam Republic of Korea families and the two countries' students had opportunities to meet Vietnamese Agent Orange victims during their 26-day trip with a better understanding of the pain that Agent Orange victims suffer. The journey helped me understand more about the land and people of Vietnam. It is an unforgettable appearance. I used all means of transport in Vietnam to travel with the riders to take unique and useful photos. I hope all people join hands to give new hope to Asian orange victims. Visitors will leave the exhibition with a better understanding of the pain that Asian orange victims suffer. Although the war ended over 40 years ago, its consequences live on 1.3 million Vietnamese people exposed to this toxic agent.
Thousands of the Republic of Korea urgent orange victims are also suffering the same plight. And that is the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.